Good afternoon, everyone. The line of storms tracking east very quickly now pushing into the Lima area with brief, very heavy rain and possibility of some localized damaging wind. We're going to look at this on the radar picture. Again, we still have the warning for Allen County until 245. Again, the thunderstorm moving its way right into the west side of town now with some very heavy rainfall. And again, the possibility of some strong winds. We take a look here at the warning for Lima. This will go again until 245. Up to the north, we're still looking at some gusty winds, brief heavy rain for Ottawa until 2.30, that line pushing through. So momentarily, we'll see your warning come to an end for you guys. And we actually do not have any warnings at the moment for the southern edge of this line for Auglaise County and Shelby County. So again, the line is actually showing some signs of weakening, which is some good news. But again, we do want you to still be aware of the possibility of some localized damaging winds as this pushes through. You can see here, and this is one of the ODOT cameras at State Route 309, Elida Road at East Town Road. We do see some puddles and very heavy rainfall. And again, the possibility of those strong winds. Again, this is the run of it right now, pushing through Lima. And we have good news as this pushes through. Again, it's going to really take the juice out of the atmosphere. And we should see, again, a really the severest coming to an end. Or the Lima area once this rolls east very quickly. Again, we're getting speeds on this at about 60 miles per hour. So this is in and out quickly. I'm going to put a track on this. I'm going to stop the radar animation and show you where this is heading. Again, for areas to the east like Ada, where you're not seeing the storms just yet. Let's put a track on this for you. Coming into, again, Bluffton around 240. Around Finley there at 249. It looks like around Kitten just before 3 o'clock. You're going to see this come through. So something to keep in mind, of course, for school dismissals there. And then just after 3 o'clock for the Bell Fountain area. Again, this line pushing east around 60 miles per hour with the possibility of some gusty winds. You can see on our forecast model showing as the line pushes through, Again, we'll see a lot of that severe weather threat shift east with some additional showers possible into the early evening. But again, the severe threat is going to be mainly in the form of this damaging wind with that severe warning for Lima. As you can see this box here, this will continue until 245. The thunderstorm now moving over the downtown area. So again, we'll continue to track any additional warnings for you and be sure to stay safe and we'll keep you updated.